Hello everybody, God bless you. Welcome back to this channel. I hope and pray to God that you are enjoying our videos. If so, make sure you invite your friends and family members to this channel and um, make sure you thumbs up the video so that you could be notified every time we upload a video. So let's go into this broadcast on today. So many of times I know that we may be going through difficult things and we may be looking at things from another perspective. So it's always a word that comes along that will bless you and give you God's perspective and make you understand what he thinks about your situation or whatever you're going through. So let's take a look at this scripture that we have on the screen here. The word of God says, I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor debt, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. If you are saved and you are, you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this word is talking to you. And the reason that we have this background in the background, the rainbow is because this actually is a promise from the almighty God. And, and many of times I've heard people talk about this and I've done this myself. And so I'm going to talk about it a little bit, but I want to um, talk about what is most important about this scripture. This scripture is not only a promise, but it is a scripture that is showing you where you need to be. So it says here, I am persuaded, which means I am convinced, you know, after you go through so many things like Paul has gone through, it comes to a point that you realize that uh, you are convinced that nothing can separate us from the love of God. So he goes on to say, I am persuaded. And this is what I pray for us today that in our walk with God, that we can be persuaded that God is who he says he is, that we will be persuaded that all of the promises that he has given to us are yes and a man. So he says that he is persuaded. And that is something that is very valuable because when someone is persuaded about something, that means no one else can stop them or convince them otherwise. So what should we, like Paul, be persuaded about? What should we, like Paul, be persuaded about? Well, in this time that we're living in, um, there there is a lot that is trying to keep people from being persuaded that they are who God made them. Uh, there are so many alternatives that is trying to uh, teach people other things and uh, that will probably try to keep people from being persuaded. So to actually be persuaded about something in this day and age is very valuable. But what is Paul persuaded about? And what is it that we can uh, glean from this text? He's persuaded that neither death nor life. N those are two dynamics that are extreme neither death nor life, whether you are dead or whether death comes or whether life is your portion, he's persuaded that neither one of these things can separate him from the love of God. He's persuaded that even though we know uh, angels are, are, are very powerful uh, beings that are created by God, but he says, I am persuaded even angels can't take us out of the love of God. And then he goes on to say, well, what about principalities, many powers and many uh, groupings of demonic forces? He says, 
I've been through a lot, Paul is saying, pretty much through his experience as an apostle, being abased and being abound, being shipwrecked, uh, being beaten and almost being killed, being bitten by snakes. Paul is saying that even the strongest principalities is not able to take us out of uh, away from the love of God. He says, nor powers. We have a lot of powers that are in the earth and all of these powers and all of these things are going to be shaken. But even with the powers, powers is supposed to be able to be strong enough to undo something. But the, the powers that are all around us, no matter how strong they are, no one or nothing has enough power to take us out of the will of God, which is the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. So he goes on to say, uh, nor things present. So whatever you're going through presently, you know, um, or whatever you are uh, afraid that may come, it can't take you out of the will of God. So tell that circumstance, tell that situation, this too shall pass, but you cannot take me out of the love of God, nor things to come. So don't be afraid. There is nothing that is going to come in the earth that God has not uh, already kept us in. You know, the word of God says we are kept until that day. That means he's telling you your future and your future says, if you will walk with God and believe the promises of God, uh, you are kept. So there is nothing that can take you out. Nothing that is too high. You know, some things can be so high, it can be intimidating. And there are things that are so uh, uh, deep. And he says, there's nothing nor height nor depth. So no matter how deep you go, in whatever you're going through, no matter how high you get in your walk with God or in, in any uh, status in life, you cannot go too high where it can take you out of the love of God, nor you can never go as deep, too deep for you to be separated from that love. So there's no creature, individual or person or deity that is able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Now, I want to talk about the fact that the most important part of this text, all of those examples are very powerful, but the most important part of this text is that Paul is persuaded about nothing being able to separate us from what? The actual love of God. So what is most important? Because if you understand that situations will come and situations will go, what is the strength? You know, what is the common denominator that is keeping you strong in all of these situations? The love of God. The love of God is where we need to reside. You know, we know God is love. He doesn't just love people, but he is actual the total uh, sum of love. And in love, there is a lot of things that we can have, which is completeness and wholeness and shalom. And so in God, we are in him. And there is nothing that can separate us from him, from the love of God. And where is this love is, is found in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So if we are wanting to be in a place of security, if we are being troubled or being worried, you have to think about the love of God that, and, and, and understand that the love of God is so powerful and it comes through being in Christ. Amen. And this love, the love of God is so powerful. It is so strong that nothing will be able to separate you from him and his love. So what is the most important thing that you should strive and, and, um, are, are, 
pay attention to and and make uh, the most out of or uh, dwell on. You know, when the enemy can get you off of the fact that you have the love of God, then you can go into worry. He could get you to defeat your own self and become um, and give your victory um, to him. See, he can't take you from the love of God, but you can be defeated when you don't even consider the love of God as the very thing that will keep you in this hour. So when everything is going on and the Bible is fulfilling itself and the world is becoming more and more darker, remember the number one ingredient that will keep you sound. And that is the love of God. That is where you want to remain and dwell in the secret place of the most high under the shadow of the almighty. That is the love of God. And we find it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Please pay attention to the things that are treasures. Please pay attention to the promises that God has given to us because it's the word of God and it's those promises that God cannot lie that is going to keep us. Those that endure to the very end, the same shall be saved. And I'm here today to tell you, if you hold on to what God says and his promises, trusting that he is well able to complete what he started in you, then you will be strong and you will be able to endure because it's not by your might. It is by the power of the spirit that is going to keep us. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video. Share with me your promises and some of the favorite promises that you love and that you love to hold on to. And let me know in the comment section, has this given you encouragement in these trying times? And how is it so? And is it something that will help you to be able to be strong? God bless you. We'll talk later.